Ryan and I adopted Rylan from a drug addicted mother. You couldn't touch him because his skin hurt from the drug withdrawal. At 18 months, he would hold his breath until he would pass out. When he was three, he had gotten a watermelon out of the fridge, and there were probably 10 knives sticking in the watermelon. <laughs> At around four years old, he started getting more aggressive with his siblings, and he started hurting animals. I would say that Rylan has an obsession with knives. Rylan talks about knives. He thinks about knives. If he sees any sharp object, he has to have it. He talks about stabbing us with them, about how he's going to lift them up over his head and plunge them into our chest so that he gets the best impact. If you take those big knives away from me, I'm gonna go with two knives. If you take another one away from me, I'm gonna go with I take his threats very, very seriously. He has shown every bit of intent. When Rylan was six, he locked himself in the bathroom. He found his older brother's razor and he cut off the tips of his fingers because he wanted to see them bleed. In Rylan's head, Bleeder was the one that told him to cut his fingers so that he could see the blood and feel the pain. Bleeder is a robot that lives in his head. Rylan has routinely threatened to kill and harm himself. We had a therapist that compared him to Ted Bundy. I'll kill you. I'll definitely kill you. My biggest fear is that we're raising a school shooter, a mass murderer, a serial killer. In Ryland's lifetime, we've placed him in six hospitals. Don't you dare! I want to live with Ryland, but to have him at home is too terrifying. Although it's hard to send Ryland away to hospitals, what other choice do we have? Well, Kim and her ex-husband Ryan co-parent their four children, including Ryland. Now, Dad Ryan says his greatest fear is that his seven-year-old son will seriously hurt himself or someone else. I've been spit on. No, spit on your... Oh, Ryland James. Punch. No, 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 we're not doing that. I've actually had him take me off my feet. He curses nonstop. Big fat It's shocking to hear a kid cuss like that due to him being only seven years old. Shut the up! We have not lived a normal day probably in the last three years. When he loses all control, a last resort is a therapeutic hold. <laughs> We've had to hold him for upwards of 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> I don't enjoy doing that to my son. It's a necessary evil. That didn't even hurt. Rylan decided one day to flood my toilet. When I pulled the toilet away from the wall, I found two shaving razors, a fork, and a ink pen. He was hiding sharp objects. That's what I'm gonna do to you. I do worry about Rylan killing someone. We've taken Rylan to multiple hospitals and there's nowhere else for us to go. We are out of options. I am a very humble, strong person that has never asked for help for things. I feel like I've completely let Rylan down. I know that I can't help him. I need help. You are completely convinced that he will murder one of his siblings, one of the other children, if not one of you two. Yes. Yes. Right. And you believe that he may become a, a school shooter. You say someone that just goes in and, and wreaks havoc. He's, yes. He's added that um, before when he was telling us he was gonna kill us. When he was done, he was gonna to go to the school that he had been to and kill everybody in the school. He was born uh, addicted to meth. Mm -hmm. And we, th the truth is, there's a lot we don't know about the prenatal effects of exposure to meth, but we know that it's not good. Right. And both of his biological parents were diagnosed as bipolar, correct? Mm -hmm. And there is a genetic component to bipolar, so you've got that problem. 